What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to today's video, styling 12 winter outfits with some easy layering techniques. We're gonna take a look at a few different silhouettes, starting with look number one. It's kind of like a long getting dressed video, this one, where I'm just gonna show you piece by piece what I'm putting on. The first pants, jeans that we have on are from Club Monaco, raw denim jeans, and then a white, simple t-shirt. It's from Urban Outfitters, maybe? I think, I think it's a white t-shirt. I'm sure you guys will find something. Then on top of that, we got the first piece I wanna talk about layering a little bit, which is a hoodie. Uh, layering and styling a hoodie is not the most difficult thing, but I wanna talk about it because obviously, or presumably a lot of you have one in your closet, but styling it underneath a double-breasted coat, like um, also zipping up is very important. <laughs> Uh, styling it underneath a double-breasted top coat is not something a lot of you might think to do, but I think it's a cool look. It's casual with a pair of gray suede Chelsea's from a brand Ankari Flores. It's definitely a little bit more put together, but still quite relaxed. For look number two, the upper half stays the same. I just wanted to show you that the t-shirt peeking out is also a nice way to layer some color into your outfit. Now we've got a pair of black skinny jeans that are a little bit distressed with a chain detail on the pocket from Zara. On the top half, what I really want to talk about is that combination. Both the hoodie and the shirt jacket are from Hill City, and it's a thermal jacket, so it might not look super warm, but it's actually a really nice light combo that'll keep you warm. Obviously, add a beanie or a gloves, whatever you may need to make it more weather appropriate. But in this case, I'm wearing a pair of black leather split toe boots from my own brand for a nice achromatic look that's definitely a little bit more on the casual side with the t-shirt just peeking out to layer the hoodie nicely. For look number three, we've got a pair of light blue jeans from Express. Those are a skinny fit as well. And I'm wearing my tan colored off-whites. If you are a loyal member of the ODS squad, you may have seen me cut the tags off somewhat recently. I got, uh, some called me crazy. I just, you know, I'd call it courageous. <laughs> Um, we got a long sleeve waffle from Urban Outfitters, really like this, and you can see that this works well, but I wanted to show you that you can layer this for uh, multiple reasons. One, you're gonna have it peek out just a little bit underneath this John Elliott brown hoodie, which I think is a really nice touch. At the same time, if you're stepping inside and it's gonna get a little bit too warm, it also looks nice if you take the hoodie off and just wear the long sleeve with the jeans and the sneakers. On top of that, to play off the earth colored scheme that we have. We got this Uniqlo olive green winter jacket, nice and light, but it keeps you incredibly warm. I've been wearing it a lot the past few weeks and actually almost months. Um, it did me well, it served me well. Next up, you can see for the hoodie looks, the upper half doesn't really change. It's gonna change for the remaining eight looks. On the lower half, we switched out the pants for a pair of cargo pants, black cargo pants from Essentials. And from Essentials is also the classic bomber jacket in olive green that I'm wearing up top. Now we got earth colors going on up top and a black lower half, which is a little bit crazy. I think that's something that deserves tying in. And that's what these Doc Martens 1460 RP are for. You see that they're overall mostly black, but then they've got a nice tan detailing around the sole. And I think that's why I'm, I tend to create a lot of looks that mix earth tones with black with these shoes, even if it's a little orange popping in. Um, you know, it, it definitely is, is a pop, but I think it works nicely. For look number five, we're starting off with a pair of chinos from United Colors of Benetton. Now, these have a pattern on them, yes, but they're fairly subtle. Right now, uh, they might stand out a little bit more, but you just stay tuned where this look is going. Up top, we've got a white Oxford from Uniqlo, classic look. I'm assuming a lot of you guys have something like that in your closet, same with the white sneakers. Doesn't have to be the exact pieces, but we did find most links for you to shop these pieces or similar pieces down below in the description, so look for that. I'm assuming a lot of you also have a simple gray sweater. This one is from Uniqlo, again. And finishing the look off with a plaid coat, double-breasted, from Canali. Now, it gets a little crazy when you mix patterns, but I think this one of the pants is a little bit more subtle to really let the coat pattern stand out. For look number six, we got a pair of top man skinny jeans that were once gray and not distressed and I messed them up a whole lot. Up top, we've got a black t-shirt. I wanna say it's from, I honestly, I don't know. It's a black t-shirt. You guys have one in your closet, I'm pretty sure. And also make sure that you take, get rid of all excess threats that you don't need. The same gray sweater from Uniqlo and up top a Bordeaux jacket, puffer jacket from Andrew Mark with a pair of black combat boots from my own brand. Now, layering a sweater is 
obviously pretty straightforward. You saw in the look before that it could be nice to switch it up with a shirt underneath, but even a nice t-shirt, if you have it peek out and have the color kind of match with the rest of the outfit, you can have a lot more fun styling a sweater as simple as it may be. For look number seven, we're in a pair of skinny express black jeans that honestly I really like. They have a solid amount of spandex in them, so they're a little stretchy. And then we have a more fitted black t-shirt. That one is from Uniqlo. So is this cardigan. Uh, I love cardigans, honestly. Like I like a lot of looks that integrate cardigans. I just don't find myself grabbing it out of my closet when I have one. I just bought this because I thought the caramel color was really nice. And then I layered it underneath this Zara Brown flight jacket that I wish was still available online. If you have a Zara close by and you're still looking for a nice winter jacket, it's honestly, it's a great jacket. I've been wearing it a lot. And on my feet, we've got the Ankari Flores Espresso Suede Split Toe Boots for a nice black and brown combination. Hopefully, once again, um, proving that that's a color combo that works. For look number eight, we're in the Club Monaco Raw Jeans. Once again, you'll see them a few more times. Absolute favorites, really nice staple to have in your closet. And up top, a blue, brown, red, Bordeaux flannel shirt from Uniqlo layered under that same cardigan. As you may have noticed, there's always two options for the piece I'm talking about layering. And the color is a little bit crazy because it doesn't have a button down collar, which tends to be a deal breaker for me. But in this case, you just need to kind of prop it properly underneath the cardigan. Then we've got this corduroy puffer shielding jacket. It's all the jackets combined in once from H&M with these waterproof Timberland boots that are, uh, they're a new drop. They're a lot slimmer than the original Timberlands, which I like a lot. And I'm getting a little bit lightheaded just trying to tie all of them. So we've got a nice base with the blue of the jeans and then the rest kind of in the earth color range and the shirt being a little bit of a pop. Same jeans, but for look number nine, we're gonna go for a black turtleneck this time. That's from H&M's premium collection. Nice and slim fitting and just a simple start to the look. And now I wanna talk about layering vests with the last four looks. The first vest that I wanna talk about is this black vest from Montclair. I have a very similar vest from Uniqlo that's also black, so don't get scared away by the price point. There's several price points that you can pull this off with. We got the black split toes from my brand once again, and then to make it a little bit more fun, we've got this standout coat from Ami Paris. It's a bright yellow coat. Ami, you see the tag is kind of falling off. It's a couple of years old. I've worn it a fair bit just to show you that you can have fun with a simple look. And for look number 10, we're gonna experiment with that same vest. This time we've got the black jeans from Express on once again, and a tan colored long sleeve from Essentials. Here's that Montclair West a second time. And like, I just think it's a nice piece to layer underneath, even a shearling jacket, which tends to not have a lot of room in the sleeves. So having a sleeveless vest is actually really beneficial. Then we got these black combat boots once again, and overall an all black look but with that tan base, just to brighten it up a little bit. And I think a vest layered underneath either a coat or a shearling, it's just a nice extra touch to make it not only warmer, but a little bit more dynamic. For look number 11, you should know these by now, Club Monaco raw denim jeans, and up top from Scotch and Soda, a cream colored turtleneck. This one's a little bit more roomy, a little bit more on the traditional side in terms of fit. And on top of that, I'm layering a tan black and gray plaid flannel shirt from H&M, it's actually a shirt jacket, but stay with me um, as, we, as we style this look because we're gonna add something on top of that. Uh, on my feet, we've got the Espresso Split Toes. Once again, love those shoes. Honestly, they're nice and classy and slim. They just work a lot. And then we're adding this Patagonia vest. It's actually reversible, but I wasn't feeling the camouflage of the inside. Um, the colors are overall a little bit in the earth colored range, but the vest is definitely something that's standing out. And for look number 11, we're finishing off with a pair of cargo pants that are also from Essentials, this time a nice tan color. Really like the design, the slim pockets, it just really works for me. Up top, we've got from Uniqlo another long sleeve. It's also a waffle long sleeve, but the one from Urban Outfitters that you saw earlier is a little bit more pronounced. Then we have the same Timberlands as before, and you already see the nice earth colored scheme, all of up top, caramel for the pants, and then it's like brownish red in the shoes. But we're actually gonna cover up that olive part with a fleece jacket. Now, I don't wear a lot of fleece uh, really ever, even though it's super cozy and comfortable and actually looks good, I think. This is from Uniqlo and it's kind of like a dark tealish color. And now adding that same Patagonia vest up top, I think gives it a really nice outdoorsy feel and kind of rounds out the color palette. And I just think layering a vest up top is a cool move. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Stay dapper.